Hey, what is up guys? Kita Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Alright, we got a patch notes that I have yet to check out and also some, you know, trailer reacts that they just came out with today. So let's do all of those things. So let's first talk about the patch notes and give you guys a perspective of what is happening in the game, right? So we are actually going to get a new story pack this week. I actually did not know that. Uh, we're going to get it tomorrow. Story pack 12, Black Feather. Now alongside with that, uh, you know, this is going to be a very new story featuring, uh, you know, after they follow, after the Grand Hill Day story with the previous one, uh, this is going to be a chapter 12. You got to finish chapter 11 fake game before you can proceed to chapter 12. So make sure you guys uh, finish those first. If you guys have not, um, you know, that's something that you got to like, take it slow. All right, I get it. There's some new players that join. Uh, you are going to be able to enjoy full voiceover in Korean or Japanese. Always appreciate it. Now alongside with that, st story pack and stuff, we're also gonna get the new event. Uh, season event operation Mo update. So we're gonna be uh, having all of those, as you can see. It is going to be divided into two weeks, as always, as per usual. Right, this is going to feature uh, Jaden and looks like Darkness Devourer is making a comeback. So this is the boss that we have fought before, which we're gonna check out shortly. Operation Mo event battle guide will be, as always, uh, the usual stuff, you know, and then Finn Hunter guide uh will be the will come back in a fire form and this time we'll have the fire buff which wait, wait wait no no it's not fire it's still water buff the boss is fire so i think water buff is still having the advantage we are still yeah, yeah it is going to be fire attribute oh so it's going to be the same boss previously it was darkness attribute but now they changed the attribute all right that's pretty interesting so this is something like ba as well so Operation Mo Event Store information, the usual stuff, you always buy the... Try to get the UR gears at least. Tears of Goddess, extremely valuable. And of course the draw tickets. These three are going to be the valuable ones. Now the SR gear, Finn, sure, if you are lacking in gears, you can get those. But ideally, you're probably not going to use much of those. The currency, of course, you need that as well to refine the, the UR gear. The furniture is up to you guys if you if you guys care about those and the rest this sort of can be farmed but ideally still nice to have to upgrade your gears right so alongside with that uh, we also have the furniture outlook you can see this is going to be good all together we're also going to have disciplinary committee glacier ending and then we're going to have a new wow uh game club rafina kendo club justia manga research club jaden these are going to be the characters more potential upgrade for shirazad Austin, Alec, Rafina, Ventana, Zenith, Nartus, Weagle, Ingrid, and Cynthia. That's a mouthful. Uh, I'm really excited for Shirazad's one and maybe Rafina's one. I think these two is going to have a lot of potential, but we'll see. All right, these two are going to be specifically something that I'm going to look out for. Now, let's first talk about Game Club Rafina, Rafina's exclusive gear EPG. So, before that, let's check out the trailer first. Okay, let's have a look. This is the latest Brown Dust 2 trailer from the black feather and operation mo wait rapunzel is in the game oh no you know something is gonna happen there's a rapunzel praying and then a big huge black gorilla is out and you know something is gonna happen right you know something's gonna happen. Okay. Oh. Those characters look familiar. Oh, that girl looks familiar. It's a nun. That's not Angelica. <laughs> so we are hunting down orcs in the newest, latest story. Okay, interesting. So new story after you gotta finish chapter eleven before you play this, or else you cannot progress. So how about the event? Huge. 
Yo, what? That's cool. Wow. Do any Rafina pullers? Wow. Okay, Shirazad one is simple. I like it. So, Magic Professor Shirazad. Okay. Insert scene. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, who are you guys getting? Shirazad? Or Game Club Rafina? Huh. Oh, Finn Hunter is back. Okay. Okay, this is pretty good. Operation Mo. Operation Mo. Hmm. Alright, we'll get that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'll look forward to it uh, and see how it goes. Okay, so what is Rafina all about? You can see she has this very unique skill, Tal Range. Attacks the enemy three times, dealing physical damage uh, equal to 70%, which is not that high. But she has one thing that's very unique. Additionally, the target's physical damage received is going to increase by 50%. So this is going to be something that's very unique. So in as far as I'm reading this, it's going to be some sort of damage amplification. So it's similar to giving buffs to yourself, but instead you apply a debuff on the enemy that increase your damage taken, increase your damage uh, dealt to them, right? Which is going to be very, very cool. At plus one, you reduce this to four SP, which is way more usable. All right, if you're using skills like this, that means you need her to go first. This particular costume needs to go first, four SP, followed by your other physical DPS afterwards, right? So I'm a bit sad that she can't work with uh, Shirazad because Shirazad is a magic dealer but uh, she's going to work with Sylvia and stuff right that's going to be very very interesting as you can see at plus 2 upgrade uh, the amplification 75% plus 3 the damage become 90% plus 4 amplification become 100% and plus 5 the upgrade become 110% I think this is going to be a pretty cool costume I will see if I can get 2 copies just to get her to plus 1 or maybe 1 copy and then I will get 1 more copy when the when she got added to the powder of hope shop keep in mind these are not limited characters so they will be added eventually now that's one thing to consider i think damage amplification is something that we'll have to test test out um specifically just to see against uh the other characters that's going to be something that i'm very very curious right alongside with that you can see a schedule for the costume for the powder of hope shop we got therese to be added soon on 13 of uh, March until 27, alright, and then we have Glacia to be added later on alongside with Rafina, and then Magic School Professor Shirazad will be added later on, which we saw the costume earlier as well. Pretty interesting. Now, Powder of Hope costume schedule, you can see they are adding Rodev Star Letris. That one is something that I would get, definitely. Uh, really excited for that. But the rest, I wouldn't. I guess Therese is cool if you need extra copies, right, to for the buffs and stuff. But I'm going to focus on. Uh, the Leatrice for now because I need more copies of that. Alongside with that, Mirror Wars costume, Desert, Desert Flower Sylvia, that one is a very strong one. And then a Golden Thread is going to have Robin Hood Zenith. That's better than the current uh, the current one for the later. I believe later is in the current one as well. So yeah, overall, pretty cool update. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be something major coming really, really soon. So make sure you guys stay wary. But for now, I'm going to test this out, definitely. Again, Rafina is going to get her a potential liberation or whatever, right? So we don't know if this is this is just a small extent to what we know that she's capable of. She might be capable of even more. That's something that we have to wait until the game releases. So for now, stay tuned. If you guys want to be patient, I'll try to make a video and update you guys once I have the chance to pull for her and test her out. With that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye.